All right, folks, it's Wednesday, and that means we're halfway through or about to be halfway through the Robot Challenge this week. We are playing Match Points, and uh, it feels like, other than this last board, number four, it feels like we're having a pretty decent set. So uh, we'll find out everything on Friday, but until then, we're starting with our partner opening one diamond, and it's going to pass back to us. And here we have the most normal bid ever. We're going to bid one spade. Gonna see what partner responds. They raised to two spades, and now the question is how high do we go? Well, we should know we're not really missing a slam here, right? Partner has about 12 to at most 15. So here we're just gonna bid four spades and play it there. We should be very confident partner has a four card raise here. In other methods, right, if partner is sometimes going to raise with only three cards, and that might be right in certain situations, we have ways to ask about partner's raise, and uh, that would be called a spiral raise or something else if you if you have that method. Pretty helpful, but here the robot is just never going to raise without four, so we can take that to the bank here. So we'll win that king of diamonds and dummy, and we're going to win that king of diamonds in order to play spades, and this is the way... We are always going to play this card combo, right? When we are lacking the 10 of spades, uh, or the 9 in any meaningful way either, we are going to take one finesse and then play for one holding only, king small on side. So in order to do that, we're not going to play the queen, because them covering would be good for them, not us. We're going to play low to the jack. And if this lost, right, which it did, now we hope that trumps are just breaking evenly and we're all set with that suit. However... If we won that, right, let's say the jack of spades held, we would now cash the ace of spades. And what we're hoping is the king is falling doubleton on side, right, and then we get to take all of the spade suit. If not, though, we would just leave that spade out there and we would continue to play the rest of this hand until it's ending, right? We would leave that trump out there for them. Here we see that this is going to break perfectly for us. Unfortunately, uh, the pitch we're going to get here is going to do us no good. Look at this. We might think, hey, we're going to get to pitch that club on on the uh, the long diamond. You're right. But we're still going to have a losing club in our hand, unfortunately. <laughs> so, so here, this is a nice uh, little extra get-go here. Ten of diamonds, nine of diamonds. We'll pitch a club. But now we're just mirrored up in everything here. We have nothing to do but hope that they get something wrong. Uh, but they're certainly not going to to that degree. So we'll just take our 10 tricks, and that'll be all she wrote, right? But take a look at that card combo, folks. Remember that forever. When you see this, right, and it's about to populate right here, when you see that sort of card combo, you take one finesse and you plunk down that ace. If you had the 10 of spades in either hand, now you play the queen from dummy, and then you can take a repeatable finesse in this spot. But here, without the 10, without the 9, we have one way to take that finesse and one way only, and that is what she is going to look like there for sure. Okay, that looks like it's probably pretty average, plus 650. We lost the tricks we're going to lose. We lost the club. We lost the spade, and that was all she wrote. Now, what do we do with this hand? Make your bid, folks. If you're ever wondering, right, in early seats especially, you can use the rule of 20 to determine whether you should make a call or not. And here... The rule of 20 is just add your total high card points plus the total number of cards you have in your two longest suits. So here I have a total of only 11 high card points, but if I add the total number of cards in my two longest suits, I have 10 of them, five spades, five clubs. That's 21. That means I should open the bidding. So I'm going to open a spade, right? Five, five, open your higher ranking suit always. Partner bids two hearts. We don't love to see game forcing auctions right away. Um, and we also don't love it when we might be misfitting. Here is the weird thing. In a normal two over one sequence, I would always bid three clubs. Always, always, always. However, the way the robot treats this is a little weird. With all of their minimum hands, and that's what we're holding. We are definitely holding a minimum hand. We're going to bid two spades, even when we don't have six of them. Okay. And the reason we're doing this, especially on this hand, is I don't want to get partner excited. I don't want them to think I have extra values when I've opened this stinker 11 count, even though I do have five cards in both these suits. So I'm going to show a minimum by doing this. And here, partner bids three diamonds. I'm going to bid three no trump, hoping they lead clubs against this contract. That would be beautiful. And here we have to be confident partner certainly does not have uh, spades with us. And here it looks like they've made an interesting lead that we're going to get to win. And now the question is, how do we play this? Well, we're going to try to set up some hearts, right? And some diamonds, maybe, on this hand. We're, we're going to take five clubs. 
We've taken one diamond, that's six. We have one spade, that's seven. We need two more tricks, right? That's what we're gonna try to do. And here, I hope the ace of hearts is on side. That would be nice. It is, maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right. And now the question is, what do we play? Well, honestly, I wanna get back to my hand but do I really want to waste all my entries? I suppose I have to, right? I'm going to play a club to the queen. Now I'm going to play a low heart to that queen again. There it is. Now maybe if clubs are breaking, we're going to have nine rippers. Are they breaking? Yeah, okay. So let's just do some more math here. If I take the queen of hearts, that's five. And then if this breaks evenly, it's even more. It is not breaking evenly, right? And now I have three clubs because I know that each of my opponents followed to two of those. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Boom, I can overtake the jack of clubs with the king and take two good clubs. That's going to be eight. And the ace of spades is nine. Let's take those tricks. All right, we've already set up a heart trick for them. So now I'm just going to pitch hearts. I'll pitch one diamond over here as well. And now here comes nine. Boom, let's take that ninth trick. And now let's just exit a spade. Maybe they give us an extra trick in the wash sometimes. Unlikely, by the way, but who knows? There's that heart winner that we created for them. And look at that. We'll take it. If they did better than us on this board with this much of a misfit and our only our 11 points opposite our partner's 11 points for game, uh, we'll give our, more power to them, right? But here, all we wanted to do is get a plus score in a game. And here, if we count our winners originally, we know we just need two more. If that ace hearts is on side, we have our easy way to two more. That's leading towards that holding twice. Uh, wow, we'll take it, we'll take it. That That's going good for us. Usually it doesn't go that good. I'm a little worried, but that is Wednesday. We are done with that. Folks, if you're watching this on Wednesday, notice that today we have a live class on preemptive bidding. It's a great practice quiz with all of the trimmings. You're going to be sitting in any seat at the table. Either you've preempted, your partner's preempted, and you're responding, or the opponents have preempted. We're going to teach you how to deal with those bids from each side of the table and give you a bunch of practice with these making and we're replying to these bids from partners. So join us for this. If you can't watch it live, it's just as good, if not better, on replay. And the notes for those events, as you've seen in the promos, are fantastic. So join us for that. And I'll either see you right there in one of these classes. And last night's class was amazing. If you missed it, pick it up on replay. It is just as good, if not better, on replay as well. And it'll give you a bunch of practice with your defensive chops. So I will either see you in these replays, in these live classes, or right back here for another edition of the Weekly Challenge. And this is where we'll start with tomorrow, Board 7, or right there. Prepare and make your bid.